It's hard to believe, but we've had our new Montana over six months now. Let me take a bit of time and show you some of the mods, improvements, and additions that we've made to make our new RV more livable. One of the very first additions to our new Montana was this ottoman. Not only is it a very convenient place to put stuff, as well as your feet, but we can also store our blankets when we're not using them. Next, I modified this light switch here because when the trailer was built, they had it wired so that the switch on the right controlled the lights on the left. And the switch on the left controlled the lights on the right. One of my personal favorite additions is this Vizio 5.1 Dolby surround system. The sound bar includes two satellite speakers as well as a subwoofer. These I placed behind the entertainment seating against the wall. And the satellite speakers I tucked underneath the chair and mounted them to the frame. In the entertainment center I added this TiVo. I also rewired the stereo so that the speaker selection numbers made more sense. As for the sofa, I added these felt feet to the bottom of the legs on the sofa so that when the sofa bed is pulled out, the legs don't scratch the linoleum floor. On this side of the kitchen, I added a rack to hang our kitchen towel on. And over here, I added a rubber bumper so that when the pantry door opens, it comes in contact with the bumper instead of the hard countertop surface. In the pantry, I rewired and added this light switch. The light switch was previously located out here on the end of this cabinet. For the longest time, we didn't even know what the light switch went to. The other switch I rewired to go to the light underneath the cabinet. The switch above is the switch that controls the ceiling fan, which was previously located inside this cabinet. After I removed the switch from this cabinet, I was able to install the interface that goes to the surge protector. The surge protector itself is actually located in the cabinet below. Recently, I added this metal ruler which I attach with two 3M strips to the inside of the pantry door. This conveniently gives us a place to put our chip clips. Another modification that I made is I removed both the thermostat in the kitchen here as well as the one in the bedroom and sealed the holes behind them in the wall thus preventing any airflow within the wall to change the temperature settings on the thermostat itself. I installed this atomic clock over the cabinet. 
Atomic clocks are extremely convenient. They reset themselves depending on your location, which is great while you're traveling. This walking stick fits quite nicely next to our front door. Not only is it obviously good for walking, but it also can be used as a home security device. One of the first additions to our bedroom was the replacement of the original mattress with a foam mattress which we purchased from Lisa. Another improvement that I made was I replaced both the TV in the bedroom and the TV outside with Samsung 32 inch smart TVs. I also went ahead and included a power inverter which plugs into this DC power supply giving me the ability to play TV off of the batteries without shore power. Another convenience was the addition of this little felt pad that I placed on the TV antenna knob. Now I'll be able to tell which way the antenna is actually pointing. On the very first trip we took, we found all of our clothes on the floor. The manufacturer had placed a rod that truly supported no weight at all. So therefore I went to the Home Depot nearby and I purchased a proper rod and hardware that would support all of the clothes that we have. Another feature that always frustrated my wife was the fact that the light in the closet was turned on by the switch on the wall on the other side of the bedroom. So I went ahead and replaced the light with a larger light that also had a switch on it. This now freed up the light switch on this wall so that I could use it for a night light above the trim on the door. I installed this weather station on the wall next to the TV in the bedroom. We can now tell not only the temperature inside as well as the temperature outside but what time it is. It's an atomic clock so it'll stay correct. Now that I no longer needed the light in the closet in the bedroom I could use it to replace the light in the vanity in the bathroom which for some reason was a much smaller light to begin with. In the bathroom, I also installed these two hooks in the shower, thus giving us a place to hang our wet swimsuits. Quite often, RVs lack towel racks. Same is the case in ours. We installed these simple but very convenient non-slip towel hooks. We also have a hook on the door as well as inside our cabinet because let's face it you can never have enough hooks in the bathroom. I also have a hook in the bedroom that hangs over the door. Now outside I've taken a garbage bag and put it over the TV. Electronics don't like moisture and I just thought a little bit of extra protection wouldn't hurt. Also behind the TV is an outlet. In this outlet was a cord running up through this hole. 
which actually went to an outlet on the inside of the RV. So I removed the outlet and actually rewired it the way it should have been done from the factory and left this outlet alone. Now within the front of the RV in the battery compartment I actually took the time to remove the original 12 volt battery and replace it with two 6 volt golf cart batteries, thus allowing me more run time when I don't have shore power. On the back of the RV, I added a 8 inch hitch extension. The original hitch does not protrude far enough to put bikes without the bikes hitting the back of the RV. And above, I added a rear view camera. Finally, I added a keyless entry lock. Whether you have a new Montana such as ours, or another manufacturer's model, hopefully you have found some of these tips to be useful.